Hello everyone, today I am at Monkey World and it's really quiet. This is the joys of coming to places like this out of season on a school day. There's like hardly anyone here at all. This car park is almost completely empty. Alright, it is so quiet here at the moment. The lady at the ticket office seemed really surprised to see me and she was like, what? Uh, a customer. I mean, I cannot actually see anybody else around. This is definitely the time, best time to come. I'm gonna get my other camera out. My good camera. Oh Walkways, let's go from this enclosure here and then they come, come out of there and go across it. One goes over to this one over here and this tunnel here goes to over here and there's more tunnels over here. I think there's the little monkey in there. Can't really see it from this angle. I should have put my um, jumper on, it's really cold. I got a jumper in the car and I forgot to put it on. Oh, I've got some chimps here. As I come here because of the programme, is it Monkey Business? I think it is, on PIC, on British TV. But the thing is with that programme you get really close to all the monkeys and everything. And here they're just sort of at a distance. You know, I've got some chimps here. I can imagine coming here in the summertime and it being absolutely packed and they've got tables and chairs, uh, benches and stuff around. And I can just imagine them being completely filled up with families and kids running about. But as it is, I am pretty much all alone.
The only problem with coming out of season is that they're doing a lot of construction work on the habitats. So there's a lot of um, drilling and banging and sawing. Um, which is slightly annoying. <laughs> but, you know, they need to do the maintenance work, I suppose. It just seems a shame they're doing it while there's people walking around. I've come into the woodland walk I'm on my own again there's no one here I can still hear the uh, banging quite a lot of the um, construction work uh, apparently this path leads to some other monkeys and great apes. Right, I'm now back to using my old main camera because the batteries have completely died on my new one. So I'm just down to this one camera again, which is fine. Has a better picture quality anyway. It's just. Oh, there's a. So, as you can see, it is a, a busy, busy day here in Monkey World. Uh, there's a couple of, there's a member of staff just up there, then I think there's, a, there's an old guy just over there. And um, yeah, I am pretty much all on my own. Just me and the monkeys, and the apes, and the gibbons, and the chimps. I haven't found any gorillas yet. Do they have gorillas here? I don't know. Yeah. Point what's going on? That's yeah. Flo, that is. So she's only just recently joined us. She, yeah. Back a couple of years ago, so she's yeah. serving me quite well, but yeah, she's very um, people curious. She? Yeah. <laughs> this guy looks old. All right. Yeah, okay, man. All right. Yeah. 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 Thanks, Thanks anyway. Yeah. Yeah. I'll go to the cleaners. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. He looks very old. I can't see his face. I saw his face just before I pressed record and he looked like an old man. This path I'm on here has lots of bricks dedicated to people. Looks like um, this is in memory. Lots of in memories and stuff, I'll show you. So I just heard one of the gardeners saying that because it's a bit chilly today, that's why all the monkeys are indoors and not playing outside. So I guess there is a downside to coming out of season after all. But if you like, Peace and quiet, when you can't hear the construction work, look at all these tables and chairs behind me. They're like, there is nobody here. But no monkeys either, because they're all hiding indoors. There is a um, 
slide just over here. Where is it? There. And I'm really tempted to go on it. I think I'm a little bit old, but it does look kind of fun at the same time. This is cool. I approve. Wheelchair swing. I am going up here to this climbing area. It just looks too good not to. I don't care that I'm a full grown adult. There's other adults on there quite clearly. I am now in the climbing frame. These things here are what you use to get up and down the levels. So if I want to go across this bridge here, I need to uh, go into this tube. I might go this way first, down there, then up that tube, and then back along this bit here. Right, if there were actually any monkeys on this climbing frame, they would laugh at how difficult I made that look. So, I was all the way down there, and I came up this tunnel here, and then along here. Um, there's a slide here. I'm not going to go down the slide, I'm going to go across the bridge. Alright, I'm at another slide, and I think ultimately there is only one way out of here, and that is to go down the slide. I'm not moving, I'm not sliding, I've just stopped. <laughs> oh, no, my... <sighs> my jeans were just gripping that the whole way down. That's quite uncomfortable. Alright, I'm at the, uh, the kids' play area. Uh, back into where the enclosures are. Uh, yeah, I did see some capuchins in here, they're hiding. Oh, there's one. I know I sometimes say I take ideas from other people that I'm subscribed to, and there is one person I've subscribed to that walks around a zoo completely on her own. And I never actually intended on copying that one, but here I am at Monkey World on my own. So I keep been reminded of that video as I'm wandering around all by myself. <sighs> it's kind of cool the way they have the different enclosures with the huge tunnels and stuff going from one enclosure to another or sometimes slightly narrower tunnels like this one as you can see above me now. But all the monkeys are inside, keeping warm. Uh, it's not easy to find them. At least it's warmed up a little bit. Not a lot though. Okay, I just uh, got myself a warm sausage roll at this place here. And... Uh, oh, that, is that an orangutan? This statue here, I saw them making this on Monkey Business, the TV show, and here it is in real life. Right. One of the uh, main problems I'm having is if a monkey's outside, then my camera wants to focus on the wire fencing, and I can manually focus it, but it's just a hassle on this camera. And then if they're inside, it's really difficult to see them through the glass because I'm just getting reflection back, so it's not very clear. But this area here, I can't see any monkeys anyway. 
fat, I can't see anybody, and um, oh, there's the path. I couldn't even see the path just then. Okay, goes this way. So, yeah, but nice and quiet. I say it's nice and quiet. There's a train track just uh, over there. A huge freight train just went by. It was quite noisy for a while, but anyway, it's quiet again now. I think there's an area of the park down this way I haven't seen yet. Hear the chimps. I've just been over by the chimps and they're all completely quiet and doing nothing. Obviously, something's excited them because they've all gone a bit crazy. So, I'm back in my car now, and uh, yeah, it was a good day here at Monkey World. Uh, it's a shame a lot of the monkeys are inside because it was cold, although. The sun has just decided to show itself, the clouds are just starting to clear now that I'm leaving, which is typical. Um, I'm going to head off home now and edit this video and some other videos that I've been filming. So I hope you enjoy those, check them out when they're posted. If you enjoyed this video, thumbs up would be brilliant. If you subscribe, that would be brilliant also. And I think you're amazing and love you forever. And uh, check out my other stuff and I'll see you soon. Alright, cheers, bye.